Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as promised, I'm going to be going over this new collection from Morphe with the 24A Artist Pass palette and some of the Sweetie collection. Um, I don't think the setting spray is in here because I don't think they could send an aerosol in the mail, um, but if it is, that'd be great, but I don't think it's in here. I mentioned in a couple previous videos that I want to do some colorful, fun eyeshadow looks just to kind of distract from everything that's going on right now, and it's been honestly hard to hop on camera. I have not felt like I wanted to at all. That's why I've been doing live streams, but this is going to be the first of hopefully many bright and like cheerful eye looks, so if you guys want to see me dive into to this collection and create a fun eye look then just keep on watching i forgot i wanted to pop on a nude lipstick because there are glosses in here but there's no lipstick so i'm just popping on some nyx push-up lip lingerie in the shade lace detail Okay, so there is a little sheet in here explaining the prices of everything. The 24A Artist Pass palette is $29. The VIP Sweep 6-Piece Brush Set Collection and Belt Bag is $29. That is the Saweetie brushes. And then there is the Icy Lips by Sweetie with a Platinum Lip Trio. It's $18. And then there's a Mini Continuous Setting Mist. It's peach scented and it's $10. This bag definitely made me happy. There are some adorable things in here. There's a pair of sunglasses from Key Australia, which is so nice. These are cute. It's really sad that I'm not going to be like outside using them for a little while. There also is this adorable icy chain necklace. Adorable. There's a collapsible water bottle. That is so cool to keep in my gym bag. There's a few Suva Beauty Hydra Effects liners in here, or body art actually. So you can use them as liner or body paint. Yeah, so unfortunately I don't think they could include the setting mist. I was excited to try it because I am running out of all of my Morphe mists actually. Um, but I might just have to pick it up on my own when I can. Okay, so I have to bust out the brushes because I want to use this adorable orange and purple brush set for the look I'm going to come up with today. So the bag is like a fanny pack and it comes with six brushes. There is a silicone glitter packing brush and then there's a bunch of smudger and blenders. Okay, so here they are. You can see there's a really cool silicone spatula. This one looks like it'd be really good for highlight. We have some blenders and a little mini smudger and this looks like a pointed blender. They do feel kind of lightweight, like they don't feel super, super heavy, um, but they feel more kind of plasticky than they do wooden. I'm not sure if this is made out of plastic, the handle, but the colors are super fun and I think this is gonna go well with the palette that I'm gonna use. There is a huge mirror in this palette, but I'm actually really excited. I know some people hate pressed glitters, and if you do hate glitters in a palette, you're definitely not going to like this one because the whole bottom row is glitter. It looks like these two are glitter, and this top orange one is glitter. The rest of them are matte. There are a couple shimmers, actually. But yeah, I don't know exactly what kind of look I want to go for today, so I'm kind of just going to play around and see if I can make something come together. I wanted to do something kind of orangey, but I'm not honestly sure. I may go for a little bit of like a sunset vibe. So the brushes actually aren't individually labeled. So this is just a larger blending brush out of the Saweetie collection. And I think I'm going to dip into the yellow in the palette called Under the Sun. I do have concealer on my lids. It's just some of the CoverGirl concealer from my Project Pan. Actually, everything on my face right now is from my Project Pan. I'm trying to get Get through this makeup if you guys want to check it out that and other declutter videos are coming um to kind of keep us busy while we're stuck in our homes so picking up this yellow shade i want this to i think peer out from the back of whatever look i end up doing so it's gonna go in my upper crease area this isn't like the most neon yellow it's almost like more of a banana yellow and it's showing up pretty good for being a yellow. The fallout on this is not bad at all. I was expecting fallout and I'm not getting any. There is like a tiny blender brush. I might go in with this next, but I think I'm gonna have to do a lot of work with this bigger brush. Um, but I'm gonna go into the hot pink. This is called Max Volume. Going in with this pointed brush, I'm gonna go into the crease with this. Okay. 
kind of just working this in underneath the yellow. So taking that bigger brush, I just want to make sure this is blending. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth with the yellow and the pink until I feel like I have a seamless blend up there. It does give a little bit of an orange vibe blending those colors together, which I like. It's very sunset-y. I think I'm going to pick up just a little bit of this red. It's called Indio Woe. And I'm going to trace this between the pink and the yellow just very, very gently. Just adding a tint of red to the eye look. Now we're going to do something that could compromise the whole look. So I'm going to go into purple. Um, I'm going to go into the shade. It's called Major Inspo. It's a deep purple. And purples can sometimes screw you over, so hopefully it doesn't. But I'm picking it up with the same small brush. And I think then I might cut the crease. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go directly under the pink. So to my surprise, the purple is actually blending really well. Um, I was super nervous that this was not going to blend and potentially ruin the look because in the past, I have tried this sunset look with the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette or Sunset Palette, I don't remember, um, and I failed every single time. So props to this purple for blending with the pink. It's looking like it's going to come together the way I want it to. Just popping it on there and then doing tiny little circular blending motions. And I'm hoping the cut crease will bring this together. So I'm going to go back in with max volume, the pink, and the same brush and just make sure we're getting a seamless blend here. And then taking that bigger blending brush again, we're going to go over the seams, barely touching the makeup. So, I mean, this could be risky, but I'm going to go in and cut the crease with my Anastasia Eye Base. So I decided to do like a half cut crease so that we could still see the purple underneath and to the side. So I'm going to see if I can replicate this. On the other eye, that's always my problem, is going and doing the same thing on both eyes. Okay, so before that completely sets, I'm trying to look down and keep looking down, but I'm going to take the shader brush out of the Morphe collection and I'm going to pick up the shade All Access. I'm tapping All Access all over this white portion. And then I'm taking our blending brushes again. I need to dip into that purple because we have to blend the edge here. I want to make sure this is not too harsh. So I'm just blending over that edge. And then going over a little bit with the fluffy blending brush and some pink. Alright, let's see if we butcher this look. Um, I'm going to dip in to the shade Wild Out. Wild Out is a orange glitter, orange kind of gold. And I kind of want to put this all over the lid with the spatula brush, which is very interesting. I've never used a spatula for glitter maybe once or twice with Huda, but not a spatula like this. It picks up kind of nicely with the spatula. Ooh. This might save the look. <laughs> okay, so I think I am gonna try to fill in that cut crease area. How do you guys feel about glitters and palettes? I feel like you either love it or hate it. You do need to be very careful when taking them off. I mean, it's doing very pretty things to this look, thankfully. I'm letting it overlap because I had trouble blending right here. 
and it looks so good over the purple. I don't know if I would typically wear this out. But that's what I think is fun about doing looks like this when we're stuck. We can really play around and step outside of our comfort zone. The spatula takes a little while to put on. I don't know if a finger would be easier. But I like how precise the spatula makes it. So when I do a sunset look, I like to use a black liner because I think it really offsets the bright colors. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia liner because it's a nice liquid. It'll go over the chunky glitter. Um, and I'm going to give my camera a little break because it tends to overheat. And I'll be right back. I'll show you what it looks like with lashes and liner on. All right, so here's what we're looking like with lashes. Now, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it was a little difficult to get liner on over the glitter, so you could do the glitter after the liner. That might make that a little easier. Uh, but I actually really like the way that it looks all together. Like, in the middle there, I wasn't sure that this was going to be acceptable. But now, I think it's such a beautiful look. Like, it looks very nice. I'm shook, but this might be one of my favorite sunset-esque looks that I've ever done, and it's just because I'm playing around and not really trying, which is interesting. So yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan. I think for the price, it's a really good palette, but again, it really is going to depend on if you're a fan of pressed glitters being in a palette, because if you're not, you want to skip on this one um, because there are a ton in here, but if you guys like that and you like like the party shades and you like using those glitters, then I think you're really going to like this. This is one of the more fun palettes that I've played around with in a long time. By the way, I like the brushes. I don't think they're anything that you absolutely must have in your collection, but the spatula worked really good for pressed glitter. So if you have a lot of pressed glitter in your collection and you don't like using your finger, you might really like to get these for that spatula alone, but also like the color is really pretty. I like the color. These are going to be what I dip into for some of my summer looks because I'm just like that. So these are the Icy Lips by Sweetie, and this is like the traditional lip gloss tube, um, something you would love to throw in your purse. So here are the three glosses. We have the purple one. It's called 8 Inch. The one in the middle is called Money Mommy, and the lighter one is called Boss Tycoon, and that's the one that I want to try. I feel like this one has some like gold vibes to it, and I think it's going to go with my look. So I'm going to squeeze some of this out of here. I can't tell if it has a scent yet. Ooh. You can't feel the glitter in it at all, which I appreciate. I really can't smell it. I don't know if these have a scent or not, um, but I was kind of hoping they would because I think the setting spray has peach. Let me swatch these for you. Boss Tycoon is like a peach with gold. So over a nude is really, really pretty, especially in the summer when you can catch that glitter from the sun. Um, Money Mommy looks like a strawberry color. And then 8 inch is a deep magenta-y purple. So here are the three glosses. Why I'm not picking up on a scent, I have no idea. I'm not sure. If they do have a scent, then I am clearly going crazy right now. Hopefully I'm not sick. But these wrap up the collection. I really probably will only get use out of the two lighter ones. I don't really like to use deeper glosses, um, but I really do like the golden one. I love like a nice golden glitter gloss in the summer. Even just like laying by the pool, I like to put one on. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. If you guys are new to my channel, please do subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me a ton. I'm doing social media full time right now. It's scary, so please interact if you have the time and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.